What's up there, cool cats? Uh, may pips be upon you. Look, look, Bitcoin has finally reached my area of concern right here at the uh, 5,900 level. And uh, that's a whole number, folks. A lot of things happen at that uh, on those whole numbers. And I was looking at this area as a, a, a very, big deal because you have the over the overall big uh, uh rising wedge okay and the the uh um what do you call this the uh the descending channel here inside this <laughs> ascending wedge all right is meeting is meeting uh the um the support, the support line of the ascending wedge at at uh, at the same area at, at 5900. Uh, uh, so we have some confluence of support. Also, you'll notice that the 200 EMA is proximal to the uh, to this uh, the same area. Okay, so uh, that's that's a big deal. Uh, I'm going to also going to point out something too. Let's take out the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci's, and you'll see that right at my golden ratio, the six one eight level, we are right there. All right, it's three confluences. I'm not ignoring that. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not going to ignore that. So I am looking like I've been talking about in my videos for some upside action. And I believe from here, we'll end up uh, taking out the uh, all time highs. That's the plan anyway, you know, that's the intention. So what I'm gonna do is go down, this is the four hour, right? I'm gonna go down to the, oh, oh once you also notice too, look where we are uh, on the, on the uh, uh, RSI, all right? And you see the blue line getting ready to cross the red. Uh, it, this is this is about to happen, folks. We are in the oh, we are overextended in this market. All right, this is the oversold area uh, for stock guys, but for for forex guys, this is overextended, and you can expect a, a reversal here at some point, <laughs> you know, it, this, this, it's time for a reversal. Is it time now? Well, we're going to find out, right? So, oops, let me get rid of that. And, all right, now, uh, what about an entry? Let's go down to the one hour, see what we can see. I'm going to get rid of this, okay? And uh, we don't need that anymore, okay? All right now you'll see that we are already getting a reaction here we have a lovely lovely rejection you see the rejection here that's what you want to see all right and you'll also see that we have a bearish candle that's already starting you know and we can expect some action here it may come back down here for a double top a double bottom all right and then spring off that's what you want to watch out for. All right. It may do it from here. All right. It may do it from here. And I've already, uh, uh, you know, took that into account. If we go to the 30 minute and take a good look and see what we got. All right. We have this initial uh, reaction here. And then we have this bearish candles. See how it goes up and comes down to sellers. Uh, came right back in here. We need those buyers to, to show strength. And uh, that's why you wait for confirmations. There is the possibility, folks. There is a possibility because this is a rising wedge. Uh, it, this is the support line of the rising wedge. The rising wedge is a bearish uh, candle for, candle, candlestick formation, okay? And uh, there's likely to, you know, the, the, with, those, with those patterns, it's likely to break to the bottom. All right, 
break to the downside. So, you know, we want to make sure through confirmations that the support, the support line of the uh, rising wedge holds. All right. So we're going to watch for more uh, rejections like that one. All right. Uh, we're going to look for more rejections. And we're going to look for uh, bullish formations and patterns. What are we, what am I talking about? We're talking about pin bars, you know, a, a big old hammer. Okay. We want that hammer. That's a terrible picture. All right. We want the uh, bullish engulfing candles. All right. We want to see a good solid candle come up out of this area and you take the next candle smoking out and to the upside. All right, those are the kind of, kind of confirmations that you wait for, and that's uh, that'll guarantee you, you know, you know, you have momentum going towards your TP. All right, that's what you want to wait for, and that's what I'm going to wait for. And the uh, uh, so my um, entry will be looking something like this. All right, you want to make sure that, you know, uh, take into account that this was in a channel. So you want to target that the top of the channel. All right. You might want to look, look here first for uh, your uh, TP1. You might want to, okay, you don't want to do that. You want to look here for your TP2 at the top here because price will probably have a, uh, some kind of reaction up here. All right. And, uh, and you want to you want to hold this to the top of the rising wedge because that's probably where it's going to go all right and probably beyond just keep in mind that the all time highs once it's challenged i'm pretty sure we're going to see that all time high uh, get passed all right this is a daily uh, level of support and resistance, a key level of support and resistance. That's going to be my target. And that's at, uh, as you can see here, um, 6658, which one is it? 6658381. All right. That's, that's, I made that with Fibonacci pivots. Okay. Uh, you, you go ahead and look into that. Okay, and uh, it's probably going to look something like this here, and I'm I'm probably going to have, see, I want to make sure I'm beyond this this point here, and maybe even with here, so uh, you know, just below there. So I want to protect my uh, stop loss. What do what, I'm not even sure how much that is right now. Two zero one. Yeah, that should that should get it done because this is. Uh, we're looking for a three and a half, a, th a three and a half R. So, you know, that, that, that could do, that could do okay. All right, now we have a very important level. I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm just now thinking about it now. We have a very important level here and this is another Fibonacci, uh, Fibonacci level. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a weekly I believe this is a weekly. You see how many times prices interacted with it for support and resistance. This is a very key level. This is a very strong level. Uh, so I want to um, I want to keep that in mind. So hmm, here that would give me two a two and a half R, and that would protect my. Uh, that would protect my my uh, stop loss. Anyway, I'll probably be in that area. You know, you can do what you want. You know, you want to make sure you have some points of structure to protect your stop loss. I might be being very conservative now, but I'm going to hold this for a while, and I want to protect it while it's uh, things are forming before I actually enter this uh, position. So once I get some good confirmations here, that's when I'll enter and. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, uh, be careful and uh, I hope we can make a lot of pips together.